We need energy people to work in our energy system to keep our energy systems running. They're really good at it, really good. They kept this machine running during the worst scenario imaginable. Our industry today, though, faces a number of headwinds. Now, if you're a sailor, a headwind is energy. It actually is something that can propel you forward. But we call them headwinds. Let me tell you what they are. Energy diversification, decarbonization, and digital transformation. The very best people to solve the challenges we face today are actually in this industry today. But what motivates us to move fast in oil and gas is that we need an outside villain. That's what we need. The problem though is we're really good as an industry at beating up all those damn villains like safety issues and catastrophes and, and reliability. We confront and defeat our villains exceptionally well. So when I was researching my book, I asked this question of a number of companies. I'm gonna share some of the case stories with you. But to a company, they said the same thing. What's holding us back is a mindset problem. We have a kind of a permafrost, a kind of a frozen middle in our organizations. A frozen middle. So the question is, how do you melt permafrost? How do you do that? The best people to work in energy are already working in energy today. They know how to solve the challenges of energy diversification, decarbonization, and digital adoption. The prize is right in front of us. It's our houses and our homes and our communities and it's our future. And what's holding us back is up here. It's up here. All of those stories I told you, no holes were drilled, no cement was poured, no steel was cast. It was all done with human intellect, the mindset shift. If we can unlock that mindset, if we can unfreeze that permafrost, we paint for ourselves a fantastic future with these, these, these headwinds that we face. That is inspiring to me.